Um, okay, so we're just going to make a very quick maze in Adobe Illustrator. Uh, so this is one I made earlier. Um, so if you go to File, New, and let's do a new um, a new project. So we'll do A4 because I'm in Europe and that's what we do. I'm in Ireland. So, okay, and now what you need to do is go into your rectangular grid tool, which is up here. Uh, like rectangular grid tool and then just click um, and here you'll see your options so um, I'm going to do uh, 15 which I did last time 15 uh, dividers across and 15 uh, dividers down so they're just the lines um, to make up our grid okay and click OK now just uh, click on a corner and pull out your um, your grid so it's a perfect square. Okay, and let's increase our lines here. Go to your stroke, increase your stroke. And um, now I think I want to fill this in with a color. So let's do possibly a nice bright color. Let's do maybe a lime. Okay, and now also control A. Uh, while it's still selected, we want to expand here. So, uh, so go to object and go to your path and go to your outline the stroke. Okay, um, and now before we do anything else, let's uh, make a new, a new layer. Um, I'm going to lock our grid, the green box here, our green grid, and let's click on new layer. And this is going to be our solution. S O L U T solution path, I'll call it. Um, and here we're just going to draw our path, how we find our way out of this maze. So go to your line um and let's choose a color and let's pick i'll pick uh neon pink because it's the brightest color i can think of um and yeah let's start with our pen tool click on the pen tool and let's make a starting point maybe let's do our start is here okay we're going to start here and we will finish here Okay, so let's click on this. Uh, pen. Okay, and let's start. I'm going to make it a thicker stroke actually. Let's do it two, three, so we can see this. So let's go. Now it's up to you to uh, decide how difficult or how easy you want to make this. As I'm drawing the lines, I keep my finger on the shift button um, on Windows so all my lines are straight. Okay, and now I'm finished and now I press enter to end my line there. Okay, so that is our um, our path. Okay, now what we need to do is clear a path, clear our path now. So we follow this path. So I'm going to lock our solution path here and then unlock our grid. And then if you press control A on your Windows um, keyboard, you now I've highlighted your grid and now we're going to go into our shape builder over here. Okay, go shape builder. And now we just have to uh, follow our path. So click, uh, click on the start here and then drag. Okay, so follow your path. And as you can see, it clears all the blocks blockage okay 
and there we go that's our um our path okay and um, but obviously that's too easy you know um for me so we have to make it a bit more uh, difficult so again you just do a lot of fake uh fake paths here to confuse people so again if you do control a to click on your grid um, and go to your shape builder over here which is shift plus m and now we can have some fun here Okay, let's see how this looks okay looking good to me so we have our start over here and then we have our finished we want to uh, if you want to make our lines thicker we just click on our grid um, and let's try this we need to go to our pathfinder okay let's go to pathfinder so go to window uh, go to pathfinder and then you just need to go to merge. So you're merging all of your shapes. Okay, click on merge all the shapes. And now it's all, instead of being all separate, now it's all together as one shape. And here you can see it's black, so you can change the color. Um, let's see, blue, go to fill, blue. Okay, and um, yeah, maybe make this a bit thicker. So go to our stroke. And again, we have to just put our stroke and change it to a blue. So f our stroke is gonna be a blue as well. Let's go to our stroke to make it thicker. Okay, that looking good to me. Um, and then let's Okay, so that looks good to me. And again, if you once you do it, once you decide on your stroke and how thick you want it, um, go to click on it again, your grid, and whenever you're happy, go to Object Path and outline your stroke, and then you merge. Okay, now this is looking good to me. Um, now once you've made your maze, you can now click on your solution path, okay? And you might want to change the color here to make it a bit more interesting. Uh, let's keep it with the pink, but let's change it to a dotted line. Okay, so it looks a bit more interesting. Go to, so click on that and go to your uh, stroke. And then once you click on your stroke, you'll need to go to your appearance down here. So it's appearance, it's like a, uh, a sun. Or you can go to window and go to appearance here. And this will bring down a um, your options. And if you click over here on your stroke, you will see there is an option to click a dashed line. And there you have it, you have a dashed line. And then you can make it as thick or as thin you want as you want. I also usually have a, a round cap here because it makes it like a dot. Um, and let's see, can we do it back to two? And then let's go our gap, maybe do 20 for our gap. Yep, there you go. Uh, you can play around here with, uh, with this option if you want. 
So now we're going to uh, make this more interesting and uh, put some extra graphics on it to make it more attractive. And I usually use Creative Fabrica when I'm getting my assets. Anyway, this is one I did download earlier. It's a Spaceman, a cute space set of uh, astronaut watercolors. Um, and you can see it's commercial and full print on demand usage is allowed. OK, so I downloaded that earlier. So let's do file. Uh, let's do a new layer. Let's lock everything else and uh, file place. And let's do what will I do? What are we looking for? A uh, spaceship. So you could really sit and make a load of these uh, mazes first. Once you make one maze, I'm going to give you an idea of how you can reuse the maze. So if you click on this, you've got your maze. Now I'm going to just duplicate this. Let's go to your artboard and then click on this and then drag. OK, now you have. OK, so you've got you've just duplicated your maze. So what you could really do is if you go to so if I click over everything here and then what you could just simply do is turn it around. OK, so you're kind of reusing the mace, uh, but you're flipping it. You're still having the same start point up here and the same finish point. But there you have two mazes um, or you can do a highlight it again and then go to object and then transform and you just reflect and there you have it so you start here and you finish here i'll do another one so if you let's do your artboard again so if you go to your layers and then highlight it all and let's bring it down here to the bottom i'm going to flip it again because i wanted to oh maybe i'll just do this yeah, OK, let's just do this it might be easier. So the end is here. OK, and what you could do is uh, highlight everything, uh, control C and I'm going to make this smaller. And maybe stretch it out a bit. OK, and uh, control C and then control V is just to pay, uh, paste it. So control C, control V. You probably know what I'm going to do here. Um, <laughs> it's obvious. So if you go to object and you go to uh, transform and let's reflect. Um, And what you could just do is basically join this up. OK, so you have two mazes and um, you just play around with it. I'll show you what I mean here. And we need to close this. So just get your pen. Trying to do this pretty quickly, like our solution, press enter, draw the line. And now let's go to our stroke and increase our stroke. We don't want dashed now. We just want it as a blue line. It's a blue line and you're going to have to make that part of this. So click on the blue line and you go to object and you go to path outline stroke so now it's just the shape and you'll need to click on your mazes so click on this click on this 
and click on this and remember what you sh need to do is and there we go pathfinder is right here so just click on merge and there we go and then remember you can change then the color if you want from blue to whatever uh, purple Okay, so I have um, made my mazes. I've got these three mazes here, uh, which we made earlier. So it's the same maze, made once, and then I, uh, I uh, flipped it. So another maze, we start on this side. Um, and then here is where I joined this maze. I duplicated it, and there we have it made into a bigger maze. Um, and I got all these images from Creative Fabrica, so you can have a colored or you can just have a black and white uh, so the kids can uh, do the maze and color it in. Anyway, so there's your three mazes. Uh, they look pretty cool and um, any assets I've used, I will put a link in the description. And I hope this was of some help to some of you. Keep creating.